You've likely seen the large enclosures hamster owners use and the amount of bedding and been a little taken aback because it must be such a huge task and cost a lot of money to be fully cleaning those cages once a week, right? Well, the thing is, fully cleaning your hamster's cage once a week is a very outdated practice. The reason many would suggest replacing all of the bedding once a week, or sometimes even more, was due to the size of the hamster cages back then. These cages with 100 to 300 square inches of floor space obviously would become soiled much quicker because, well, there's a lack in space. So once people started using larger enclosures, it was found that they take a lot longer to become soiled. Okay, so how are you supposed to clean these massive enclosures? Well, there was a study put out in the 1990s by Gatterman to investigate the effects of different types of stress on Syrian hamsters. Six different stressor situations were examined, one of the stressors being doing a complete cage clean. When this was done, the hamster showed a heart rate increase of 150 beats per minute, and it took 50 minutes for the hamster's heart rate to decrease back to normal. This was the second highest heart rate next to having hamsters in a group with each other. So with this information, it has helped us to improve the way we clean our enclosures to ensure our hamsters would have the least amount of stress put on them since we want to try our best to limit the amount of stress on our pets. Though keep in mind, stress cannot always be avoided and in some cases, a full cage clean may be necessary, whether that is because the hamster has a health issue that requires it like a contagious disease or has parasites, or if you're currently using a dangerous substrate with them. So instead of fully cleaning out our large enclosures, there are two different methods we can do, both which save you money by not wasting bedding and puts the least amount of stress on your hamster. The first is spot cleaning. This is exactly how it sounds, cleaning only the dirty spots. This just requires you to look over the enclosure and clean up anything that you can see or smell. So if your hamster is peeing in a certain spot, you can just scoop that out and add in new bedding as needed instead of replacing everything, since not every single piece of bedding is going to be soiled, therefore throwing it all out at once would be a huge waste. Using your main senses is going to help for finding soiled bedding. If it smells like pee, is damp, or looks darker in color in a spot, it likely was peed on and can be removed. This is something that can be done throughout the week or however often is necessary based on your hamster's habits. Some hamsters may be messier than others. Many people have been able to potty train their hamsters to use a certain container, though some hamsters will even do this without any training since they can be very organized animals and typically will pee in the same spots like a corner in their hideout, their wheel, or even their sand bath. This makes spot cleaning even easier for you. Now, what about all the hamsters who aren't exactly clean and pee everywhere or down in their burrows? So to avoid having to remove all of the bedding all at once and causing your hamster unnecessary stress, you're going to want to divide your hamster's cage up. The way you divide it may depend on the size of the enclosure, but for example, with my enclosure, I'm going to divide it up into six sections. So now every couple of weeks, I'm going to remove one section and replace it with clean bedding. This way, your hamster still has plenty of its scent in its enclosure. You'll do this method until the enclosure has been completely replaced with fresh bedding, so that gives time for the new bedding sections to also get your hamster's scent on it. As for feeling bad for destroying burrows, unfortunately, there's nothing to prevent that because keeping your hamster clean from pee is important to their health. They'll just have to recreate new burrows, but they will be okay. I've even heard of people purchasing UV black light flashlights and using these to help find areas that are soiled when they can't tell what is dirty and what isn't. What about poop? My hamster doesn't stop pooping everywhere. So the thing is, we shouldn't think of hamster poop the same way we think of dog poop. It's not wet and it does not smell to humans. It's not as big of an issue as a lot of people think it is. In fact, your hamster's poop helps them a lot. They use it for marking their territory, hence why a lot of hamsters will gladly throw their poop in with their food hoards, and will also use it to orientate themselves in their enclosures. So you don't need to worry about removing every single poop from their enclosure. Of course, if you see a big pile of it, that's fine to remove. My hamster has a lot of food hoarded. Do I throw it out? Now, unless your hamster has peed on their food hoard or has any soiled foods like vegetables in their hoards, I would leave them where you found them. 
Hamsters are natural hoarders and having their hoard suddenly disappear can be stressful. So it's okay to just leave it where you found it. Do I also clean their accessories? This will depend on your hamster's habits. For example, if your hamster is a chronic wheel peer, it's important you do keep their wheel clean because that is an area they use a lot. And if your hamster ever gets a cut on the bottom of their foot, that bacteria on the wheel could potentially cause bumblefoot, an inflammatory infection of the bottom of the foot. If your hamster pees in their sand bath, you can just remove the soiled sand. You can also use a small sifter to sift out any poop or bedding that gets into it. And if they don't pee in it at all, there's not much need to replace the sand. Okay, now that we know how to clean our hamster's cage, what time should we do it? As you may know, hamsters are nocturnal slash crepuscular, so we should try our best to not disturb them during the day. But sometimes you may not have any other choice than to do spot cleaning during the day. For me personally, I'll do the surface area cleaning during the day since I'm not disturbing where they sleep and any in-depth cleaning like removing sections of bedding or going in their nest, I'll do that at night so they're already awake and it's not bothering them. I'll also usually put them into a travel carrier or in my hamster-proofed bathroom for them to roam around in while I'm doing a good clean and don't want them to get in the way. I know cage cleaning is probably one of the things that confuses people the most, so I hope this explanation helps anyone who is questioning what they should do. Cleaning heavily depends on your hamster's habits, so everyone's way or frequency of spot cleaning will vary depending on their hamster. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye! Hey, if you haven't clicked off the video yet, I just wanted to show you our new merch design. Inspired by the famous TV show, Gravity Falls. We have beautiful Dipper, Mabel, and Waddles in front of the Hammy Shack, which is available in t-shirts, sweaters, mugs, and stickers. So if you're interested in purchasing any, you can do so through the link below.